On with curiosity and a knack for reviews, he's the hungry ferret. Hi everybody, so today we're going to take a look at a screen protector made by JE Tech. This is a premium tempered glass screen protector film for the Samsung Galaxy S6. Okay, so let's open up the case. This screen protector pretty much goes on sale for about $7. Unfortunately, this is not a frustration-free packaging. Um, it's quite a bit of effort to open up the case. Okay. Once you get it open, as you can see, you have the directions on the cover. Uh, it's the screen protector itself. It's pretty solid, it's not flimsy. Get a little cloth and some tape. So right now I'm going to practice. So I'm getting a sense of what the film is going to be like on the phone itself. And it looks pretty well cut. It doesn't cover everything, but it covers up the screen. So right now what I'm going to try to do is to get all the dust off. I'm going to use a blower and try to blow everything off of it. So just remember, any little bit of dust will cause a bubble in the screen. So I'm going to just go wipe it down again. Just to make sure there's no residue whatsoever. Unfortunately from the cloth, it lets some dust. So basically how this works is that you put these red tab tape things on the top side of the screen protector. It's very important that you don't put it on the bottom side. So you basically just tape the top, you hover over it, and you drop down on the phone. Once you drop down on the phone, it should automatically start adhering to the surface. So this is another practice run. They do give you a big piece of tape. This is to remove all the little dust specks. Put it on, and from there you just peel it off. All right. This is a very popular technique with other screen protectors. So right now I'm just basically just make going over the whole entire screen just to make sure there's absolutely nothing on the screen. And again, I'm just going to go over it one more time, just before I start placing it. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is just peeling off the adhesive side.
you pretty much have to be very careful. You only have one chance in doing it. So just place over the top. Try to line it as best as possible, not to block the button, the speaker holes, or the camera. Once you drop, it should automatically start taking hold, as you can see in the video. Right, I do have a little bubble in the middle, uh, but that's okay. You basically just massage your protector onto the screen. And this will very much get rid of all the bubbles. Uh, it's easier if you use the cloth. And you just go back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth. Uh, I do have I do have a big bubble in the middle. As you can see in the video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take off these placement tapes for now just try to massage all the bubbles off. I'm going to just place some water. And you can see it just pretty much slides right off. This works pretty well for liquids. I'm not going to do the crack test and I'm not going to do the cutting test. There are plenty of videos out there that show this and I don't plan to destroy the phone. So the cut of this is not exact. It doesn't go from edge to edge. Um, the placement of the screen protector is a little difficult compared to others. The more expensive ones where they cost $40 to $50 they do offer you little gadgets that you can place the screen protector on and it will easily align the screen protector onto the phone. Um, on this particular one, I did an okay job. It's not entirely straight, but it doesn't block anything and it does pretty much what it needs to do. If you do put a case on this, uh, it will hide your mistakes pretty much, as long as you don't cover any of the ports, the speakers, or the camera. So, like you see over here, I also rubbed out the bubble in the middle. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Please subscribe. Thank you.